to show you how to play Last Date by Floyd Kramer. I'm using Jason Coleman, his grandson. I'm using the version that he plays as a model. If you want the letter notes for that, you can go to letternoteplayer.com and I have those letter notes for you. I want to start with the introduction. We're going to have an F chord, but we're going to hit the C first. So the C and then the F and the A. And then hit the C on the C chord. So the F chord is F, A, C. And the C chord is C, E, G. And then we're going to have a B, D, F, which will be simulated a G7, but we got an F chord with the F in the middle. C chord. And then just a C and an E. And then we'll come all the way down here with a B, and a B to a C, E. So it'll sound like this. kick in with a G, A, B, C, and when you hit that G, A, B, then switch to your little finger in the C, C, E, A, G, so you're going to go C, E, A, G, hold it, then go down to F, A, D, C, then after the F, A, D, C, you're going to come all the way down with this D, E, F, so you got it's going to be D, E, F, E, D, C. And in the right hand during that time, you're going to play a C, F, G, A, and then a C, E, G. So you're going to kind of whip through there, just slide through it. And then C first, and then the E and the G. Then we'll do the same thing with the C, D, E, D, C, D. So the C and the D will go really quickly. Here we're going to play an F chord, but we're going to add a D right there. So we're going to add, add the 6 to it. So it's going to sound like this. So we'll go. Now put it together. So when, you, when we hit that D, we're going to hit the F down in the left hand. This right hand is going to come all the way down to this F, and the left hand is going to go down to the D right there. And what I do is I hit it with my little finger. So I go D, E, F, E, D, and then, then slide that little finger down one note. So we've basically got a tenth on all of those. And fingering. So I'll end with a thumb right there. So let me play it again. This time I'll slow it down a little bit. And then we come all the way back up. Now, once I'm down with this C, I'm going to stay there for that C, E, A, G. Then I'm going to go back up to the F, A, D, C. So we do the same exact thing again, only this time the left hand will be down and on. Now the third time you do that, go ahead and hit an A right there, part of the F chord, and that will set us up for this part. So we go with that same C, F, G, A, and just hit that A again, and then hit the C, E, G, then D, E, D, E, F. Now you can play the F by itself, or you can hold the D. It sounds better with the D held. Same thing here with the E, F, and then F, G. So you can hold both of those, or you can play them independently. It'll sound like this. It's a little easier to play if you don't hold them. So now let's get into that. Uh, let's get into it from the third time through. Now, right there, you're going to play a C, E, G, C. Straight arpeggio on C, then a G, B, D, G. Straight arpeggio on G, then a C, E, G, C. 
quick C chord with the, uh, with the octave doubling down to an F, F, A, C, F. So it'll sound like... There, we got the G with that D and the F. So this, when we put the D and the F in there, then we've got a G7, G, one, three, five, seven. The, the F is the seventh right there. Here we're playing the F. And when you get there, come right back to the C and then to the G. So we're gonna go C C D E B B C D C D C D E D C then end with a G, G A G A G B. Now I'm going to slow that down so you can see it. first string. four fingers with the, uh, well, well, four of the fingers with, so we're going to slide that arpeggio down, E, C, G, B, so we're going to go, slow motion, E, C, G, E, the only finger I don't use in there is this middle finger, so, and then we're going to use the middle finger right there on the B and the D, so we're going to go B and D together, and G and C together, so it'll sound like this, I'm going to slow it down so that you can, you can see it all. And in the left hand, F, A, C, F, G, B, D, G, C, E, G, C. And then we go to F, A, C, F, G, B, D, G, C, G, C, G. So I'm going to get into it and then we'll, we'll uh, stop it going into that next phrase. So we've got...
Да. You do it again, and then the, after the second time. Then we go on. Now here it's going to go G, A, G chord with G in the middle. A, B, C chord with C on top. Then the G, you hit it twice and come down to an A minor chord, A, A, C, E. And I kind of, I kind of offset those just the same way with all the chords. So I hit the, the bottom note first. Then we play this C, 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 A, C, F. D, F, and then we end with the G, B, D. So we go to an F chord, we go to an A minor chord, F chord with the F on top, then D minor chord with the D in the middle, leading to a G chord. Together it'll sound like this. hit the, the bass note. So in the bass we're going to have F, A, C, F, G, B, D, G, C, E, G, C, arpeggio, A, C, E, A, down to the F arpeggio, and to the D, G, B, D, G, and then I'm going to end with a G7 without the B. You can play the B if you want to, but I'm going to go G, B, D, G, G7, and that will lead us right back into a reprise of the beginning right back in with that. So now here we go. And then it goes right back to the beginning. right there. You just go C, B, C and hit the C chord and hold it there. And then we're going to go to a little tag that'll sound like this. In the right hand it's going to go, so it's going to go C, F, B and resolve to the A. It's an F chord with F in the middle and then we're going to come down to a move this F to the E and, and use that A. So the, le the, right, the top of the right hand is going to go. So it'll just walk its way down. It's just going to be like that. So we're going to have a C F chord starting with a B to the A, then a C chord starting with an A to the G, and then a G chord to a G7. And then we're going to end with a C chord starting with the F to the E. And in the left hand, we're just going to go F, E, D, C. Together it'll sound like this. Then hold that long enough so that you can set your brain for this next thing. Because in the right hand, you're going to go to, you're going to, go to E, G, D, C. And in the left hand, you got two things you can do. You can either, if you've got a big enough hand, you can stretch out C, E, G, C, G, E. So it'll sound like this. Now, if you can't do that, what I would recommend is to play a G, C, E. It'll give you the same sound. So here's this, this one. And that's what I have written in the letter notes. If you wanted a richer sound, you can go down and hit that bottom C. It'll give you a little bit more of a bass note there. 
So let's get out of that and, and show it to you in context. There you have it, Last Date by Floyd Kramer. Hope you enjoy playing it.